Tonight, we have new information on the Goshen massacre that killed six people in a cartel-style execution. Fox 26 reporter Sophia Lesios attended today's briefing by Sheriff Mike Boudreau and updates us on the investigation. Tulare County Sheriff Mike Boudreau is asking Governor Gavin Newsom to lift the ban on the death penalty for cases where small children are murdered. Cases like this, where a 10-month-old baby and a 16-year-old mother were shot in the head. We are very close. I don't want to say anything that would jeopardize not bringing these baby killers to justice. According to the sheriff's office, 16-year-old Alyssa Peraz had gotten her 10-month-old baby Nicholas back from foster care just three days before the shooting took place. Nicholas was in foster care for months. Sheriff Boudreau says in the 36 years he has been with the sheriff's office, this investigation is one of the most egregious he has ever seen. He says arrests will be made and once they are, he would like a favor from the governor. This is a message that I'm asking and sending to Governor Newsom. I would like him to lift the ban on the death penalty in cases where small children are murdered. According to the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation, the last person executed in California from the death penalty was Clarence Ray Allen in 2006. I reached out to Governor Gavin Newsom's press office for a statement on Sheriff Boudreaux's request, and they referred me to a statement he released in 2019, saying in part, the intentional killing of another person is wrong, and as governor, I will not oversee the execution of any individual. Early on in the investigation, Sheriff Boudreaux said the shooting was a cartel-style execution. Now, he has identified two cartels that have been active in California. One being the Jalisco New Generation Cartel, CJNG, and the Sinaloa Cartel, both actively involved in operating in the state of California. So it's important that you see that we do have cartels operating. Many of these cartels, cartels who work very closely with gangs. And now this investigation might be closer to home. The investigators strongly believe that the shooters in this case, in this case are gang related from the Central Valley. The Tulare County Sheriff's Office says dozens of private and general aviation airports are currently vulnerable throughout the Central Valley due to drug traffickers and possibly cartels. In Visalia, I'm Sophia Lesios. The Larry County Sheriff's Office has bumped up the reward for information that leads to the capture of people involved in the Goshen Massacre to $20,100. This horrific shooting resonates with people across the nation. One person donated money from New York, another from Maine.